Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at community, what it can do for you, where you can find yours, where it exists and what it what are the benefits to having a community. So do you feel that you're not really part, you don't have a, a family and you don't feel that sense of community? Do you often feel lonely or that you um, don't feel that you're part of um, a part of a particular group then stay tuned because this is the right video for you so what is community community is a group of like-minded people um, living in the same place that have particular interests but it's different to having to um, conform to a group so that you belong to it community is really a sense of belonging where you can be your true self without having to change to impress anyone or conform to any standards and it's somewhere that you can call home and it's essential for mental health because it really provides a sense of belonging it allows you a community a true community allows you to build relationships within that community you'll have people who understand you that can empathize with you and that can really offer guidance through challenging times and help reduce those feelings of isolation and loneliness having that support group of network of friends and family is a safe space where you can express all your emotions you can share concerns you can receive empathy from these people because they understand and that will help you cope with things like anxiety stress depression and other mental health challenges social support can also provide assistance for you so if you get overwhelmed with daily tasks or there's something specific that you would like information or help with generally being part of that community someone's been through that before and they can help you with that um it just it's just that validation for being accepted for who you are and it can alleviate all sorts of burdens and reduce feelings of overwhelm because we know that a problem shared is a problem halved interacting with other people in this supportive community as well can can help you problem solve because you watch them go through difficulties and challenges so when it comes to your own issues not only could you possibly help other people going through them but you can learn coping techniques and strategies and again valuable tools for man managing and reducing mental health challenges we also need to look in communities as well how um, they're great at providing that self-care activity so you can um, engage in activities that bring you real happiness practicing meditation or mindfulness and get it helps you to get enough sleep and gives you that real balanced lifestyle and also you can seek professional help where you need it without that fear of judgment as well many hobbies can in, can include things like cooking art drawing photography sport writing gardening whatever it is that gives you a bit of a break from your brain but you can be involved in a group that do it together so the other thing that's great with communities is um it gives you a sense of identity and i think will really help you feel accepted and valued and a reason to get up in the morning to work towards being part of a really important group in your life that you can call family and also it can make you quite compassionate so not only are you aware of your own emotions what triggers you um, what your thought process might may be it also can help you be compassionate towards other people and more thoughtful about what they may be going through and and that builds emotional intelligence as well which is important if you want to get on with people and create those deep and meaningful relationships so having these strong social connections and a healthy communication is all help will all help towards your your sense of belonging and i think that communities as well reduces that stigma of mental health and um, because you feel trusted in this group if you do need to reach out for help and support then you're more likely to do so because um you're not going to be judged and there's not that fear of judgment as well so if you don't have a family support or a, a friend support network at the moment, for whatever reason, where could you find a community 
that you can call home. Um, so there are several places. Um, first of all, perhaps spend time working out what, what really interests you, what hobbies and things are really going to um, motivate you and interest you to be part of that group. And once you've done that, they can be found throughout the internet, libraries, um, through speaking to other people. So we're worth spending a bit of time on that. Um, you can reach out to your current friends and family if you have them. If you are interested in perhaps joining a church or a faith group, then you can um, contact your local church online or in person. And um, once you're part of that church, you can create a small group within there, perhaps where you meet up once a week to eat and pray and spend time together as a group. You could join a gym. That's a great way to meet people, especially, especially people that are going to um, be on that journey of getting fit. And also we know getting fit is great for your mental health. If you've experienced a trauma, then perhaps find a like minded group of people um, through different groups, um, because, you know, they say that our deepest pain should be our greatest ministry. And if you've if you've found one of those groups like that why not volunteer if it in one of those areas because who better than somebody like you to understand what somebody else is going through when it's in the same area you could join a book club library sports leagues and i think the most crucial thing is when you get invited out even if you don't feel like it start saying yes that's um, it, it takes real effort and time and practice to not only belong to a group, but also to to motivate yourself to go. But I bet once you're there, you'll be so pleased you went. So if you're already part of a really great group that you feel is like home to you, then pop it in the comments for other people to read. If you're struggling to find a group to belong of, also put that in the comments and we can perhaps help try and find the right group for you. Like my channel, start saying um, yes to everything and um, subscribe to my channel, like the video and I look forward to coming back and reading all your comments soon. Thank you.